sponge! What the fuck? Not a sponge. You got the fucking sponge. No. I think I think you should make up a new band name. Yeah, fuck. I guess so. Twelve god just twelve gay sponges. What the fuck? We're not hating. What, what other band names should they have up there? Uh, they should have 12 Gauge Trixie up there, but uh, maybe Sponge Gauge. Uh, should have The Day Destroys Sponge the Trixie. Night. That sounds good. <laughs> Tenacious V. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they're replacing the sticker. All right, ready? Right? Three, right. two, one, action. It's been live. It was super fucking live. It now it's 120. It's insane. It's crazy. <laughs> so I might say. All right, we'll see. So what did you think? What did you think about the stage and the sound and all the cool shit? I really liked this stage because I could hear myself for once. And a lot of the times at like SCSU or house shows or whatever, you can't hear the vocalist like ever. So I really liked that. And the colors were very nice. I really enjoyed the colors. I will say. It was so good. I, I Thank agree. you. I Thank enjoyed, you so much. I enjoyed the sound. I enjoyed the the way y'all guys like went up there and killed it. Hell yeah. Uh, it was very melodic, y'all had a punk sound, it was really cool. Um, y'all were the best band tonight, period. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. And the bands playing right now, they wish they had that sound, or even that style. <laughs> um, it's sure. always funny when you outshine the headliner. Right? They say not a lot of people outshine the king, which was Elvis, but there was a couple of people that outshined or outshine the king. You know? That's what I'm saying. So it's pretty awesome. I was talking to your drummer, you said y'all guys met at like church or something, y'all guys were playing at like a couple of bands. Yeah, so I used to be in an old, uh, I used to be in a uh, hardcore all-female band, and we would play whatever, and our first time ever playing with Blake and Hart, we were actually in a church, and it was funny as hell because we smoked their asses. Our, me and Mia in our old band, we smoked their asses like hella hard. Yes, I'm sorry. They weren't. Oh yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Can Just keep it, keep it right here, and then we'll get that down around. Okay, go. We're still live. Those guys are kicking more ass. It's okay, though. It's alright. No worries about it. <laughs> so what are you saying, okay? You're like... Yeah, I was... You're in a metal all-girl band. Yeah, hardcore all-female band. And, um, yeah, I guess we just met Art and Blake that day. And Art... I guess Art and Mia were already homies or whatever. So once I quit Mountain Guard, they were just kind of like, Yo, you want to join this band? I was like, for sure. And then it's history. It's always crazy when, like... Really good artists get together and the plan just goes to fucking shit. <laughs> I don't know what happens. Maybe it's like, you know, you got bigger and better fucking things to make. Maybe. What was one of your favorite songs of the night playing on the, on the side? Favorite song of tonight is our newest song. Blake actually wrote the whole song. All of it. So it's his song, even the lyrics, I can't even take credit for nothing. Um, Jailhouse is cool. This one like that. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, dude, it was fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out their song names, but regardless, <laughs> they, they really stuck, which is important. Sometimes I, I don't really research the bands. I go and see like how badass they are, and honestly, you guys definitely met the Billboard, man. Or, Let's go! Y'all popped my Whiskey Go cherry. <laughs> Yo, I've never been to the Whiskey Go Go either, so... Uh, yeah, that's insane. I popped my own fucking Whiskey Go Go cherry, how about that, huh? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs>